sister that she thought she was. Uh, and this re- is when she was in the eight day coma, correct? Yes. That she came out of the coma, convinced she had died. And realized that she was reincarnation of possibly a witch or clairvoyant. From Salem. From Salem. And uh, I think she really believed this stuff, you know? I mean, her sister was telling it like, you know, she told me in all earnest that this was true. And, you know, with the whole her thinking the house is haunted, you know, going so far as to put a name on the entity, you know, that could play into that. I think I'm, maybe she was. Maybe she has some clairvoyance mixed in with the crazy. Who knows? But yes, and her reaction, she just doesn't seem to give a damn. There's a little bit of footage of her reacting to some of the statements being read out loud of uh, maybe some of the audio. I'm not sure. But um, she's laughing. She just don't give a damn. She does not. She thinks ever there's, she's not remorseful in the least bit. I should also mention, uh, because there's just so much information, and again, I highly suggest reading those two books if you'd like to find out more about Sheila, because there's so much that we just don't have time to get into. Yeah. But during this time when she's basically being investigated for this Kenneth County fella and his mother's calling police, she's writing the chief of police like nasty letters about, like, you can't come out to my property and I'm being harassed. I think. I, I mean, it's just she's all over the place. I really do think she done raised so much hell in that area so long. They just, you know, were like I'm trying to try to avoid her. I but believe so. I really wish someone had stepped in or was able to step in sooner for these two poor guys that we know of. Exactly. Because they just needed some help. They just need someone to pull them out of it. The interviews with Kenneth County's mother, Carolyn are so heartbreaking. Oh, my God. The whole time, she's like, I know something's wrong. I'm going to guess she's like, I know something's wrong. And honestly, if it hadn't been for her, I mean, I guess Sheila wasn't counting on the fact that he had a family that cared about him. Yeah. His mother was adamant that she was going to get her son. She was going to keep calling police. She was going to file Mr. and Persons reports. She was going to be, you know, calling social services. I mean, she was not going to let up. She was going to get her son out of that situation. She's a hero. And if it hadn't been for Carolyn being so persistent, Sheila probably would have gotten away with murder. I think she would have done it again. She would have. It's a cycle. Because Michael Deloge's family, because he had been a transient, they hadn't reported him missing because he, that was his lifestyle. They would go for, you know, weeks, months, years and not speak to him. Yeah. So Kenny was, you know, contact with his mother all the time. Yes. And she instantly noticed when he, you know, st- that I'm sure it slowed down and then none. And then when she tried, Sheila's on the phone, like you can't talk to him and scr- calling her up with this crazy ass sermon about, I mean, Jesus. So sadly, she lost her son. That's horrible. But she saved other people's lives. I have no doubt about that. She did. She did. Oh, my God. This has been episode 81. Yes. Sheila Labar, the Avenging Angel. Yes. And so we've thought about digging up some women killers. Just, you know, something different. Female killers. Female, female, female killers that have never been talked about. Yeah. Well, we may in the coming months focus on a few more female murderers and this was a good one you found and of course you can always sign up on patreon for as low as a dollar a month but three dollars is going to access our bonus episodes we have a lot of content there to keep you busy especially if we keep uh, social distancing yeah because uh, that that means um she's making podcasts without me for those special patrons it's true if you top out at our highest level on patreon not only do you access bonus content with dylan and i but i have a sort of a solo true crime i put out some mini episodes just me telling you stories so gotta sign up to get that material you can also find us on instagram twitter facebook we're on tiktok now we have a website mountainmurderspodcast.com There you can find our playlist with all the episodes. You can also uh, send us a message directly from the website. Let us know what you think about the podcast. Yes, and remember to, if you have a chance, rate and review us on uh, multiple platforms, Apple Podcasts, and uh, subscribe, if you will. It really helps keep us out there and get us more listeners. And thank you very much for giving us a try. Bye, guys.